Hey everybody, I'm Tony the Blacksmith and Gamer, and here, every week, we're working on making things from the games we love. And with Mortal Kombat 11 around the corner, I'm super excited for this new addition to the series. It's bringing timelines together, old characters fighting younger versions of themselves, new characters all together, and of course, new weapons. Let's get started. This week we're making Sub-Zero's Axe. If you've been following me for the last couple of weeks, you might be asking, wait, what happened to that knife from Apex Legends? Or what happened to that watch from Metro Exodus? Don't worry, they're coming. Well, to make a long story short, I needed a few things to finish those, and Amazon decided that it would tell me that the items were out of stock after I had ordered them. I suppose they're too busy figuring out how to make their Amazon blimp into StarCraft carriers. So the other day, I'm over at a friend's place helping him out with a little project he had. He might be the biggest fan of Mortal Kombat I know. And I was over there because he had found something. Something he was looking for for a long time. He found the Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet. And, considering what it had probably been through... It was in amazing condition. There was just one small problem, though. This is what he had for arcade controls. Obviously, you can tell these aren't the original controls. So he managed to source all the parts off the internet to basically replicate the original control panel for that arcade. Now this was definitely a two-man job. As you can see, this thing's pretty big. And obviously I was the man for the job since I have so much experience putting together arcades. But we got it together. Working excellent, we played a few rounds, but it also made me start thinking about this guy. It's good, it's functional, but it could use a little work, I think. Not today, but at some point this year, I think I'm gonna overhaul this guy. That's enough of me talking. We're building Sub-Zero's new axe from the new Mortal Kombat 11. So we got the Mortal Kombat axe all printed up. It's, I'll show you here. There's the axe. I was just cleaning it up. I got a five minute epoxy here. I'm holding it with paper towel because it uh, was leaking all over itself right out of the packaging. And here is the handle. All printed and ready to go. Uh, so next part is setting up the epoxy and gluing it all together. Let's go.
got the axe head and we got the uh, spot where it's going to be going in. All that goes together like so. Put a little bit of epoxy in there, let it all solidify, and then we'll attach it to the rest of the handle. Put the back on like so and then give it a nice paint job. We're back in the shop and we got the axe together here and uh, I'm heading back in here stepping over things because honestly I didn't do much. It's still a mess and uh, I've really done nothing in here but I gotta paint this thing so I'm just gonna work around it and clean as I go. So before I paint this thing, I just wanted to point out my intention behind this was to make this guy clear. Um, the top part, as you see, is clear and you could kind of see through it. Anyway, the intention was to get this guy clear so I could backlight it and so I can get it, uh, have that glow so it looks like ice. Here's the problem, I ran out of filament and I won't get some till next week. And I wanted to finish it. So I'm going to just paint it, make it look like ice with paint. Here we go. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down there below. Or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you'll get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmithing Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love. <laughs> Thank you.